Former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou has finally settled the debate on whether MMA fighters or boxers hit harder, claiming that mixed martial artists pack the more powerful punch. Having competed at the highest levels in both sports, Ngannou brings a unique perspective to the conversation. The Cameroonian fighter, who debuted in MMA in 2013 and quickly became known for his incredible knockout power, has made it clear that MMA fighters hit harder than boxers due to the nature of the sport and the gloves used. Ngannou's rise in the UFC was rapid. After joining the organization in 2015, he soon gained a reputation for his devastating knockouts. His crowning moment came in 2021 when he defeated the legendary Stipe Miocic to claim the UFC heavyweight title with a brutal second-round knockout. Ngannou defended the belt once, against Cyril Gane at UFC 270 in 2022, before leaving the UFC and signing with the Professional Fighters League PFL. Although he signed with the PFL, Ngannou's debut was delayed as he pursued a boxing career. His first major boxing match was a close loss to Tyson Fury via split decision, and earlier this year, he was knocked out by Anthony Joshua in a highly anticipated bout in Saudi Arabia. Despite these losses, Ngannou stands firm in his belief that MMA fighters hit harder than boxers, largely due to the four-ounce gloves used in MMA. In an interview with Piers Morgan, he explained that the sensation of getting hit in MMA is much different because the smaller gloves expose more of the knuckles, making the punches feel more impactful, even if they're not as forceful. Following his boxing losses, Ngannou is set to return to MMA in an upcoming fight against reigning PFL heavyweight champion Renaud Ferreira on October 19 in Riyadh. Standing at 6'8", Ferreira is known as one of the most feared heavyweights in the PFL, making this a significant challenge for Ngannou as he looks to bounce back from his recent defeats in boxing. This event will be the fifth PFL visit to Riyadh and the first since PFL Mina three earlier in the year. In the same interview, Ngannou opened up about his disappointing fight against Anthony Joshua, attributing his knockout loss to several issues leading up to the fight. He admitted that things were off from the beginning, including his timing and overall preparation. Reflecting on the fight, he said, it wasn't a good fight. A lot of things were off. The whole thing wasn't good. Despite the setback, Ngannou acknowledged the defeat and made no excuses adding that he would learn from the experience and prepare better for future fights. Although Ngannou has faced two consecutive defeats in boxing, he has no intention of leaving the sport behind. He firmly rejected the idea of returning to MMA full-time, stating that he is not done with boxing yet. After the Joshua loss, he told reporters, it wasn't my day. He was way better than me today. Sucks but it's the game. We all know that. Ngannou remains determined to continue his boxing journey and improve, while also preparing for his highly anticipated return to MMA.